I'm Sarah Isa Garcia. And I am Cynthia Alegre. We are both uh, first year pediatric dentistry residents at the University of Connecticut School of Dental Medicine. I completed a GPR program um, at Sacred Heart Hospital in Pennsylvania in 2005, after which I worked in community health centers from 2006 to 2011. And at that time, too, from 2000 to 2000, 2007 to 2011, I was a clinical instructor at the University of Connecticut School of Dental Medicine, AGD. And in 2011, I started my pediatric dentistry residency. And for me, I finished dental school in Peru, so I was foreign trained. And then I got into an AGD program, uh, which I did for two years. After completing my AGD program, I um, got my license to practice as a general dentist. So I practiced for six years total. Meanwhile, I was also an affiliate faculty at University of Washington uh, Pediatric Dentistry Department. For me, it's basically because I do believe in prevention and if you uh, are a pediatric dentist, then your goal is that that child would be seen before the age of one and you feel comfortable because you got the proper training. So you can work a lot in preventing disease instead of treating disease later on and it also has to do uh, with the positive experience that you can give a child while being treated uh, in your office instead of dealing with a very uh, fearful patient later on. Meanwhile, my path to pediatric dentistry is different. I actually enjoyed being a general dentist, um, but in the community health center I worked for, I was the only dentist interested in seeing kids. And they just kept giving me kids, and at one point I was just seeing exclusively kids, and I realized I didn't have the proper training. I thoroughly enjoyed it, but I just had to stop and say, I will invest two years of my life getting the proper training so that from there on, I would be able to give the best care for the kids that I was gonna be seeing. And I had a similar experience uh, when I got my dental license. I actually looked for a job as a general dentist. Uh, and I got a, a, a position offered at this community health center where they said, I, 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 we can see that you're interested in general dentistry, but would you like to um, be part of this new all children clinic that's going to be opening soon? And I thought, why not? Let's, you know, it was a challenge because I didn't have the proper training. And I said, why not? And then I ended up seeing ch children exclusively for six years. And that's when I decided, might as well as Sarah said, get the proper training because you just want to do what's best for your patient. Mm -hmm. And if you are not uh, fully trained in the field, there's always something that you are going to lack knowledge in. So in that way, I think we had similar experiences. Mm -hmm. I, like, I like the OR. I like that in pediatric dentistry, they have the proper training to go to the operating room and treat children. Um, I like that aspect. Um, I know that when I get out of this residency, I'm confident and competent in providing that kind of care. And, um, and working with special needs. Special too. needs patients. You feel very comfortable, comfortable working with special needs patients. Um, instead of avoiding them, you embrace them because mm -hmm. you had the proper, proper training, training and uh, you feel right at home when they come through, their, for, through your door. But another uh, aspect that I really enjoy is um, that you can make an impact even before the baby has been born. Mm. So I do believe a lot in prenatal care. Uh, so working with weak and pregnant women, mm -hmm. it's something that we both actually yeah. had a hard experience on. And um, it's very rewarding to see uh, that that baby that was in utero, <laughs> in utero all of a sudden comes in for the six month checkup and then you see them growing and you can make really a difference in the overall health of that family. Mm -hmm. I think that's one of the most rewarding things. And the hugs and the kisses we get all day long <laughs> and the, you know all the paintings and sometimes patients are like am I do I need to tip you and then they get a 25 point from their pocket and you're like whoa that's probably their whole allowance and you feel like oh my goodness right? It's just like the drawings. I'm, I'm happy with the drawings. Thank you. I enjoy general dentistry, but at the same time, the peds, you're also the general dentist of the, the, these children. Um, so in our training in, at the University of Connecticut, we are trained to be able to 
talked with medical specialists, with our patients with special needs. Mm -hmm. We're able to talk to the primary care physicians so these children coordinate care. If they need to go to the OR, we can do it with the ENT if the child needs to be with the ENT. Mm -hmm. I think it makes you feel you're part of the medical team as well. Uh, this specialty is the one that where you're close to the medical specialty. And you feel I mean, very comfortable OMFS, yeah. communicating with them. Yeah, because yeah. in general dentistry you get to be in this little bubble just doing dentistry and you know you just send a consult here and there but to actually have like a conversation be part of the team that's what's you know awesome about pediatric dentistry. Um, mm. For me I can only talk from my experience so I think if you're a general dentist that at the end of the day uh, it's doing majority of pedo work and you like it and you enjoy it, I think it's worth going for the special the specialty. Mm -hmm. Because then you get the proper training, you become more efficient, and you are actually gonna improve with uh, the services that you can provide to your patients. Like the range will, like you can go to the OR, you'll be more comfortable treating medically compromised patients. Um, that's just my thought. But if you are a general dentist that just enjoys seeing children here and there, then you know you can probably get some knowledge on how to deal with children but if you're not gonna do it i mean all week long 30 365 years of days of the year then maybe it's not a good option for that one person mm -hmm. and this we both have a similar experience we actually were general dance for a long time before deciding to go back to pedo um that was a we have no regrets. We 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 are we're very determined on what we want. So we are very non-traditional in terms of going to residency, um, but we know what we want. Um, so for the dental students, I don't know if it's a good idea to just go straight on to. I mean, there are awesome um, pediatric dentists who went straight from dental school to pe peds, and there's nothing wrong with that. But for us who enjoyed the general dentistry, it it did benefit us, don't you yeah, think? Yeah, I think. Um if you are not 100% sure. Like I remember, I always thought I want to be a pediatric dentist, but then I did endo. I had my endo rotation in dental school. I'm like, oh, I want to be an endo endodontist. And then I had my oral surgeon. Oh, I want to be an oral surgeon. So then by the time I graduated, I felt like, oh, I want to be everything. So that meant I wanted to be a general dentist. But in the back of my head, I always kind of really, really like pediatric dentistry. So then I didn't, I didn't want to precipitate in making a decision of what I was going to be doing the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. And that's when I thought, you know, I'm just going to be a general dentist until I decide whether I want to go into specialty or not, or I'll, I'm just going to be a general dentist the rest of my life. And after six years, that's when I realized, you know, might as well do the special, the specialty because that's what I want to do. Yeah. But that's not to say that there are general den that general dentists aren't good treating children. Of course, there, you know, yeah, there are general course, dentists who are yeah. good. And sometimes just the training they had in their dental school or just by experience seeing a lot of children, they're, they're able to treat their children, uh, their pediatric patients well, and they feel they don't need the extra, I mean, my hat's off yeah. to them, you yeah. know? Yeah. They're, if they're providing the best care for their patients, there's no reason to go yeah. to, den to pediatric dentistry either, you know? So we're either, if you have to have to have a love it to go, because yeah. it's hard work. Our first year was a lot of work, <laughs> right? It's like Yeah, but it's gratifying. <laughs> if you know what you want to do, because, you, I mean, it's a personal decision, but you know you want to pursue any specific specialty, then go for it. But if you, are, if you have doubts and mm -hmm. you are not sure, then go and work. Go and work for a year or two or for as long as it takes for you to know that uh, you either want to go into a specific specialty or you want to be a general dentist. I mean, um, that would be my advice. I would encourage uh, a residency either in, in general dentistry, either a GPR or AGD right out of dental school. Oh, yeah. I don't think the dental schools, they're, they, they educate you, they equip you, but I think they lack in like... Um, enough cases to get your hands comfortable, you know, and doing speed. procedures and the Getting speed. Getting fast. So I believe we both had it, GPR, AGD, that really made a whole difference, at least for my mm -hmm. speed and being able to diagnose and really getting comfortable with my communication skills with patients. And then um, being able to um, work with an assistant because you don't yeah. have assistance. Yeah, that's, that's so an AG and GPR would be your best bet if you're not sure. Yeah, and you might find out that uh, something that you hated in dental school 
uh, you because it only takes one bad experience in dental school for you to say, oh, I hate this, I hate it, yeah. this part of dentistry. Then you go into an AGD or a UPR and all of a sudden you are like, oh my God, I can't believe it was so easy because mm -hmm. we just, it just... It was just one experience. You're exposed to so little cases. Mm -hmm. You need to be um, exposed to more case, cases. And very and then, simple because they don't want yes. any, anything co complex in dental school because they want you to be know the basics, which is fine. That's what you do in dental school. That's how school. you start, right? Yeah. <laughs> so that AGD and GPR, they give you the more complex cases, which is nice. Yeah. I think that's a great option if you're not 100% sure what you want to pursue. Mm -hmm. Um, yes, pursue your dreams. Um, you probably already heard how we got into pediatric dentistry. Um, it wasn't right after school, dental school. It wasn't uh, the regular uh, path. Um, but I always knew I wanted to do it. I did two years of AGD and then before that dental school, of course. And by the time I finished my AGD, even though I, want, I knew I wanted to do pedo, I was kind of tired of studying. So I decided to take a little break and then I beca became a mom. So while my children were very young, I couldn't give 100% of myself. So I thought that's not a good moment to be in residency. Um, I had twins, by the way, not like Sarah that had only one. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, I would just say go with your dreams. Uh, there's never, it's never going to be too late. and. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's n and there is not only one path. There are many different paths, and you just have to be happy with what you do because that's what you do for the rest of your life. Yeah, yeah. Pursuing continuing education is really important. If you're the non-traditional way, doesn't mean you're already out in practice. You shouldn't educate mm -hmm. yourself. So, you know, I did a lot of educating. I mean, CE courses of pedo, even in general dentistry, and that really helped me in my practice. And at that point, I'm like, this is not worth. This is not enough. I mm -hmm. need like real schooling, you know, like do the two year, do the program. And I'm telling you, it's not just doing the motions because even with my experience as a general dentist, I am learning so much in pediatric dentistry, so much. And it's the way a pediatric dentist thinks is so much different from what a general dentist thinks, you know, mm -hmm. in terms of diagnosis, treatment planning. And it's a whole two different worlds, so that to me. And you were also a new mom when you got into residency and you survived, so even, <laughs> you know, that's also non traditional. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's also non traditional. So, yeah, and I can tell you, I mean, the majority of our co residents are older, they have a different path. Only a couple have the traditional path, which is from dental school into Eastern residency. residency. Um, so, just follow your dreams, yeah. Mm -hmm.